I'm sorry. Wait, let me, let me breathe and let me update. The game just ended. It is a, what is today? Uh, it is Tuesday. August 10th. August 10th, our first game back in Hickory for this week. And Josh just texted me and told me to get my camera ready. So we are praying that this is what we think we have. Hair looks great. Yeah, it looks good. On a double A. Oh, what? <laughs> That's your reaction? I get to meet him one first night. And... <laughs> what do you think, Ross? Are you kidding me? He's saying with your red. All right, so what's up, guys? <laughs> we uh, we just got promoted to double A. We, we, we. <laughs> this is my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so my parents are here right now, and um, they just told us in the locker room. Uh, the coach like pulled us all up and pulled me and a few guys in the middle of everybody and promoted us to double A, and it was pretty crazy, but. We got a bunch of stuff to figure out right now. We play in Arkansas. We play in Arkansas tomorrow. Uh, I'm flying there tomorrow and then playing in the game tomorrow. And Claire is gonna ride with my parents to come meet us in Arkansas. So if his parents were not here, homegirl would be driving 13 hours <laughs> by herself with a car full of stuff. That wouldn't work out. But so we're gonna end up having to ship her car to Dallas. And the home team that we're playing for is the Frisco Rough Riders, which is like in Frisco, Texas. So. Right next to all my TCU friends. Now we literally have to pack everything up again. again <laughs> except we literally just reorganized all of our stuff into smaller suitcases because we're gonna be sending a bunch of stuff home with his parents. So we're kind of ahead of schedule. We're really just gonna do teaching stuff. Yeah, we are. And actually- and we're good at this by now. And yeah, so we're gonna pack up and then I'm actually gonna take the camera with me and uh, just kind of show show you all the behind the scenes of everything for me going to Arkansas from here. So that'll be fun. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. We're FaceTiming his sisters. We're spreading the news. And he's also vlogging for the first Carson's time in front of his parents. Answer. Hi. Hi. What's up? Miss y'all. I know Carson's not gonna answer. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get called up or something? Or are you gentle with me again? No, I got called up to double A. Did you? Yeah, I really did. Um I swear. That's awesome. Yep, I was just calling to tell y'all. We're so mom and them just got here today, and then they're driving tomorrow to meet me in Arkansas, and I'm flying. Well, mom, you need to accompany your baby boy. You can't let him fly by himself. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I got to take care of his wife. And now we're facing my family. We piped this up so much. <laughs> what's, what's going on? <laughs> Okay. We're going to double <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Sorry we just woke the whole house up. <laughs> I'm flying I'm flying tomorrow and Claire's gonna ride with my parents and then we're gonna ship her car uh, to Dallas. So that's Scatty boy, what you got to say to the camera? Wait, let him take his glasses off. First appearance on the vlog, anything for us? You, I think I did a really good job getting you here. <laughs> uh, we're packing up, mom's here. It's like this is like home videos. This is fun. This is the 10th time we've done it in the past like 10 weeks. Good morning, everybody. We are all packed up again. It is 5 a.m. and me and Josh's parents are about to get on the road um, and meet Josh in Arkansas where their way series is for the week. 
so, and we're gonna be able to see him play tonight. So we are about to start. Like my hair is literally still wet from showering last night. We got like three or four hours of sleep, but your girl definitely didn't sleep the whole way there. <laughs> um, but Josh is staying because his flight's not till later today. So let's go tell him bye. Forty-five in the morning. I just woke up. I'm about to pack up all my stuff. Claire and them already left. I'm super tired. Just kind of crazy, and like like always. And uh, I'm gonna pack up all my stuff, and then I'm heading to uh, heading back to the field to get on the shuttle to go to the airport. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. Well, got up and moving. Um, since Claire left me, I'm actually going to get breakfast right now by myself uh, before I have to head to the field. Kind of sad, but kind of just gonna enjoy it. I'm actually at Cracker Barrel right now, and yeah, I'm just gonna have breakfast before I head over to, to Arkansas to make the trip. So just say breakfast, yes, by myself. Um, and I just pulled up to the field, so right now I'm waiting for the, uh, they call it a hopper, to come pick us up and drive us to the airport, and uh, get ready to get on the flight and get this thing going. All right, the hopper's here to pick me up, and here we go. What's up guys, we made it to the airport. I don't like doing this in public, but oh well. So I just landed um, in Arkansas. Gotta go pick up my bags and then my next move um, I still haven't even found out who I'm getting picked up by, so after I get my bags, um, I'm sure I'll get a call from someone or get more information about it, and uh, then we'll ride to the field, and hopefully I'm in the lineup tonight, so we'll see. Keep you guys updated. <laughs> So I had to call an Uber to get to the field, and I'm headed there right now. I think it's about 20, 25 minutes away, and then I uh, hopefully show up in time for BP to get get loose and get in the game. So I just got to the field, got dropped off, and I am currently, I don't know why I'm so zoomed in, I can't figure it out, but I'm currently headed to the locker room. I don't think I'm playing tonight. I don't know why I have my mask on. But, uh, wild day, and I uh, can't wait to just kind of get in the dugout and chill out. All right, so I just got back to the hotel. Uh, Claire is actually in the room right now. I don't know if she's sleeping or not. It's pretty late, but uh, we're gonna go check in and see what she's doing. Hello. Hi. Hey, you tired? Just a little bit. Just How was your day? Just a nice thirteen hours. Thirteen hours. <laughs> Oh, what'd y'all do? What'd you do? I was horizontal all the time in the back of your dad's car. Sleeping? Yes. Ah. They don't want us to get apart for a while. I don't know. <laughs> and since Mexico. <laughs> 13 hours. I guess July 4th. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but anyway, um, I did not play today, um, sadly. Yeah. So they traveled this Which, whole <laughs> We woke up at 5 a.m to make it here in time to watch him play. And he texted like an hour before, and it's like, oh yeah, we're not playing by the way. But actually, I'm really not complaining because your girl ordered a pizza, she was laying here the whole time, caught up on Real Housewives, <sighs> dandy. Oh, I got man. an off day. Yeah, had she day. had We an both day. had off day. <laughs> if your books, I could like kill oh, you. Hello, guys. It has been, whoa! Focus out, please. It has been a few days now. We are still in Arkansas on the Away Series, but it is actually Sunday today, so I am packing up. Josh has already left for the field, and we are finally going to be making the drive to Frisco. Um, but I just wanted to chat a few things before we close out the video, and I'm going to go and try to get a few clips of Josh at the field in his new jerseys. The jerseys here say their names on the back of it, and... It just seems like such a step up. I love seeing that. 
Okay, one of the things I wanted to talk about, um, just to kind of explain from the previous clips, is that we are very aware that both of us, mainly Josh, wasn't like super pumped and excited as we normally would be and have been in the past, like being promoted and traded and stuff like that. So we actually kind of knew that double A was coming soon for us because one, the guy who called Josh from the Rangers the day he got traded told him that high A was only gonna be for a few weeks, temporary to get his feet wet, and then we're gonna be moving to a double A, which we said in our previous video. Um, so this was more of an anticipation versus a surprise. So I guess like Josh's expressions and reaction was more of like a, a relief, like a thank gosh, finally vibe more than like a, oh my God, no way. We always complained about the, not complain, but kind of when we were with the Yankees that you would find out something the day it was happening. So like it was like this big, huge, like unfolding of just excitement that we had no clue about. But in the Rangers, there's always rumors, which is weird. Like we've never been around that before. It's it's definitely different. I just wanted to explain Josh's reaction a little cause I don't, we didn't want y'all to think that we weren't excited cause we are. And we also had been packing up. We packed up every single week for the last five weeks. And that it's just been a lot. So we've been very exhausted. So it was, it's definitely like a relief feeling knowing that Frisco was, we're gonna be able to settle down a little bit. And then a little more explanation on the travel. So the Rangers or whatever organization you're with normally arranges it all. And Josh usually can ride with me um, when we get moved and stuff like that for away series too. But they wanted Josh to play in the game the very next day. So that's why they flew him out because, like I said earlier, it was a 13-hour drive. And thank gosh Josh's parents were there. I just... <laughs> um, so he flew out. And then he didn't end up playing in that game that night because his flight had gotten delayed an hour. And he was supposed to be getting in at 4, game at 7, which is already kind of pushing it. Um, and he didn't end up getting in until later. It didn't work out, which was completely fine. But yeah, I just wanted to explain those two little tidbits to everyone because I was watching it back and was kind of confused myself and just wanted to make it clear. But we are getting ready to pack up the car and go to the game. Hopefully I can get some clips there. And then I'm going to be riding back with one of the guys on the team's girlfriend. Her name's Mackenzie um, because she drove up here from Hickory as well. So she has her car here because my car is was shipped to Frisco by the Rangers thankfully. So I'll be riding back with her, but let's go to the game. Got the goods and we are finally at the game. This is Mackenzie I was talking about earlier. <laughs> okay, also look at this field. Double A definitely steps it up. It is a huge difference from all of the high A teams we have been at. Um, but Josh should be coming out soon. Perfect timing. There's the cutie. He's number 13. Hi. Yeah, I'm currently being that creepy wife, but I don't really care. Oh, vlog feature. <laughs> Getting all up close and personal. He's limber. He's gonna kill me later, probably. We're getting a little close-up action. Show him the hair. We're not used to odd numbers. Are y'all leaving after this? Yeah. Not I'm sorry. For the game. You know what? We go to six out of seven days a week. Are they big? <laughs> right, go. Okay, love you, good luck. Okay, we are already back in the car. We literally stayed at the game for what, like? One inning. A half of an inning? No, we stayed the whole inning. Okay, we stayed a whole inning, we stayed a whole inning. We watched the boys first at bats and we called it a day because it is a five hour drive and we're already getting in at, what'd you say? 8.30. 8.30 p.m. So. And if we stayed for the three hour game, then we wouldn't get back until like 11. Yeah, and we're, we're just, we're not feeling that today. So you're just getting me to close out the video. We hope y'all enjoyed our little promotion of AA vlog and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.